I'm Melissa Wright in North Omaha, where neighbors are coming together to learn more about protection against lead poisoning. On Saturday, In Common hosted their lead education meeting, inviting county and city officials to share information with neighbors. Um, they told me my son was going to be autistic because of his high lead levels. Belinda Daniels is consistently learning the challenges and precautions of lead poisoning. Her now six-year-old son had high levels when he was just two years old. So yes, I wish I would have known that they had high lead levels in their paint. I wish I would have known that it was coming from the floor and I'm laying my baby on the floor to do tummy time and he's ingesting that. Young children have a higher chance of getting lead into their systems, but Noelle Smith with the Douglas County Health Department says there are ways to limit children's interaction with lead. Frequent hand washing, so especially before they're eating, before they're sleeping, um, not having kids play outside, keeping them away from chipping and peeling paint. All those things will really help. For adults, those same precautions can be taken, but there are also ways to maintain a healthy, lead-free home. First off, it's having an inspection, so coming out, we're identifying where there could be lead in your home. Um, so whether it's in the paint, whether it's in the soil, maybe your imported spices, we're going to show that to you and educate. If neighbors have concerns on whether homes may have lead contamination, Dan May with the City of Omaha Planning Department Housing and Community Development Division says there is a way to check. Omaha.org, enter your address, and it will tell you if your property has ever been tested, what the results were, if it was remediated, if it had a paint assessment, if it had a dust assessment, uh, and then if not, then you call me, and then we get you scheduled to, to get that done. Both Noel and Dan say there's lead found around Omaha. It is now their mission to share with neighbors the best way to protect themselves and hopefully educate others. Smith also tells me the county urges neighbors to go get tested routinely, especially if they have children under the age of seven. In North Omaha, I'm Melissa Wright.